चलो आज कुछ अलग करते हैं आई एम गुड मेक रियक्शन वीडियो टूडे एंड फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु डोंट नो आई एम गुड प्ले अ वीडियो एंड रियक्ट टू इट दिस वॉज शेयर इन अट्सएप ग्रुप ऑफ आर पेरेंट्स एंड ऑब्वियसली देवर कंसर्न सो लेट्स वॉट द वीडियो इज अबाउट Doctors tell mothers to supplement their babies with vitamin D drops because their breast milk is deficient. Yet breast milk being low in vitamin D is not a mistake by nature but essential for your baby's mental and physical development. Okay, before we go any further, this guy claims to be a nutrition scientist working in the University of Vienna. Number 1, he doesn't provide any more details about what he is doing currently, when was he employed, how long has he been employed? across any of the social media handles that he's got number 2 the university of vienna website doesn't mention this guy at all by name so we don't really know where this guy is coming from in fact the way he talks it looks like an ai generated image because he's just speaking whatever is written on the text let's see what he says breast milk is naturally dominant in retinol over vitamin d because it's crucial for copper bioavailability and iron management suppressing vitamin a activity in your baby with high vitamin d dosages causes hypercalcemia and systemic inflammation expressing in eczema asthma and even worse outcome so let's be clear across the world we are recommending vitamin d supplement not because we want to give high vitamin doses to the baby but because the mothers themselves have very low vitamin d levels and why is that well the reason is simple we are spending far more time indoors where we are not exposed to enough sunlight which means that the skin which is the main way that our body makes vitamin d is not able to generate vitamin d this person does not give any evidence or any links to any articles where whatever he is saying is likely to be true so this is just his opinion which has absolutely no scientific basis vitamin d supplementation as a single compound without further context causes immune system dysregulation by default especially in babies mothers your breast milk is not deficient in anything in a healthy state another interesting thing that he does he is saying making it an us versus them he says ki he is with the mothers while the doctors are not the, nothing could be further away from the truth the most important thing that i want to do is to make your child healthy the most important thing that your gynecologist want is to keep the mother healthy so why would we do something which would be harmful to you or your baby and the last part takes the cake from my clinical experience vitamin d intoxication is one of the most common root causes for constantly sick children so please avoid that now <laughs> this is ridiculous on multiple levels first of all if he what he claims he is he is a scientist a nutrition scientist there is no concept of a clinical experience he is not supposed to treat babies that is not only unethical but if he is doing that it is probably illegal as well number 2 most of the world suffers from gross vitamin d deficiency if you don't believe me test your own levels or test the levels of your baby after talking to your doctor i can guarantee you that if you are not taking supplements or special diets your vitamin d levels are going to be low so saying that vitamin d intoxication is the common cause of constantly sick children is absolutely ridiculous you do not get vitamin d intoxication without taking very large doses of supplements which are in the range of tens of thousands of international units per day for literally weeks and months and years on the other hand the amount we are giving to the babies is only from 400 to 800 units per day in fact let me point to something more interesting which is more helpful in fact there have been st old studies which suggest that giving a higher dose of vitamin d yani 800 ki jagah if i give 2000 units of vitamin d per day will reduce the risk of diabetes when your child becomes an adult by almost 50% so in fact we are arguing about this and we are discussing this in our meetings as to whether we should give a higher amount of vitamin d and 
if and when that happens, that will be on the basis of scientific consensus, on the basis of scientific literature, not on the basis of the opinion of one person. So yes, are these are all the things that you need to remember whenever you encounter any kind of random information which comes to you in a WhatsApp message or on a social media. Remember, anybody can say anything on social media. There is no way to regulate or police that. On the other hand, when you go to a qualified doctor, you are going to somebody who has the credentials, who has the experience, and you someone who wants to do the best for you and your baby. I'm Dr. Gaurav Gupta and I am your personal child specialist. I'll see you soon. And do let me know how you found this reaction videos because I'm thinking of making a few more. Bye.